Hello again adventurers, welcome to another exciting video. As you know we are back in Serbia and in this vlog we're gonna show you some swimming races that I did over summer at Ada Medica. Srmska Mitrovica. We're also gonna explore some vegan restaurants. Let's get started! Over here I'm training at Silver Lake, which is the closest lake to Kuchevo where we live. It's more like a river, a dead branch of Danube. And here we are at Ada Ciganlia, which is also a dead branch of a Sava river in Belgrade and it's very popular for people to go here on the holidays and especially in the summer. Why you gotta go, why you gotta go, I just wanna know, I just wanna know now, true now Try and get no, try and get no, hope you free your soul, hope you free your soul I might have caught the June blues, yeah I wanna try my Here we are trying out these new vegan restaurants called Artichoka in a Ada Mall they have a set menu here, pretty much the same thing every day. You can choose from lasagna, stuffed pepper, scrambled tofu, different salads, also pet thai and some baked things with a spinach or potatoes. You can check it out if you're in Belgrade. We are at another vegan restaurant called VeggieSense, which is also close to the Adamo. But this one doesn't have a pre-made menu, but you can order many different things from this menu here. We ordered this miso soup, which tasted really great. A little bit too much oil, but had many great ingredients. Went really great with this homemade spelled bread. Come to this restaurant, definitely order this soup. Then we ordered these beetroot burgers which tasted amazing and also this Buddha bowl with uh, lots of whole food and also organic ingredients. It is definitely the best vegan restaurant in Belgrade. Here we're going for a swimming race around the island Ada Medica, which you can see on the other side on the Sava River. It should be a two and a half kilometer loop. After walking to the other side of the island, we got to the beginning of the swimming race. There was this queue already to get your number and a swimming cap. So there are three distances you can choose from. You can either do 1.25 km, which is just to the other side of the island. And you can do two and a half kilometers around the island wearing a blue cap. That's what we're doing. Or you can also do a five kilometer, which is two times around the island wearing a red cap. Ok, 
a swimming race in uh, Adam Media, Belgrade, 2019. We are 2.5. How much? 2.5. 2.5 kilometers. So hopefully we're gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Sanya recording one of the first finishers, so you can see they are not going really fast because they are swimming upstream. So from halfway point it was all upstream and I underestimated it, I went too fast the first half and then I pretty much got seasick and was going really slow and pretty much blew up, almost threw up in the water, so it was a really tough race. Second half. Yeah. And I got seasick. Oh. All right, so now we're just gonna head back home. This was my second open water swimming race. First one was in Thailand, the Phuket Triathlon. But I still have a lot to learn. The biggest mistake was going too fast at the beginning, trying to overtake people when I should just stay behind them and keep the drag. So I spent way too much energy in the first half, which was also downstream. Then I underestimated the second half, which was upstream, so it was double harder, but I blew up and got even stomach sick. We see many of these river houses on the way and some of them are even for sale, 35,000 euros. It's interesting the architecture of these houses, but I don't know if I would buy a house here. Because apart from swimming, there is not much to do on this island. I guess for people in Belgrade, it's a great getaway. Right, and here we are back in nature near Kuchevo foraging some wild blackberries. There are some wild fruits you can forage in summer in Europe, but it's very seasonal. You have only like one month window in the summer. It's more just for the taste and extra vitamins than to get full from it. Maybe freezing it and putting it into smoothies is a great idea.
So we're starting the swimming race on Sava in about 10 minutes and my strategy is different than last time because last time I was uh, swimming alone and this time I'll try to swim in a group and we'll see how much chance do we get. Alright, so as I said before, in this race I tried to stay behind other swimmers to keep the drag. So this race was just one way all downstream. I made another mistake, I tried to swim on the left, taking it closer to the finish. Most people actually swam in the middle to use the power of the river current. I also thought that finish is farther than it actually was, so I finished with plenty of energy, so I could have finished much quicker. I learned that these swimming races are different from each other and you can't use the same strategy for both of them. This race was like a quick 20 minute sprint, whereas the Ada Meritza was much more strategic. You had to go slower the first half and it was much longer as well. But I'm learning with more experience and for me it's just the beginning of open water racing. So I'm not disappointed that I didn't win. And it's a really good training also. some examples of whole food vegan meals that we cook to keep us healthy and strong. Vegan adventures, I hope you enjoyed the first part of our summer adventures in Serbia. So definitely stay tuned for the second part where I'm gonna do more swimming and we're also gonna explore more nature around Kučevo. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous!